What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and I have a kind of a special video today because today we're going to take a look at the A PowerSoft video editor because I've been in the video editing, you know, industry kind of thing on YouTube for years now and I came across of this, you know, program and we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what the software can do. I want to give the makers of this program a big shout out so I can check out their software. So if you to go ahead and pick this up make sure to check out the link in the description you can get it there real real simple and then we'll move on from there so guys and let's go ahead and boot up a power soft okay so the first thing is you can see what they ask is when you boot up the program is what kind of resolution do you want so 16 by 9 is obviously the resolution everybody uses so you can also you know check this like don't ask me again so then we're going to click on here and then it's going to boot up the program all right so now that we are in the program as you can see this is basically the video editor that we're gonna take a look at today so as you can see this is pretty similar to uh, Vegas Pro where you have your preview screen you have your timeline and on the left you have everything such as text filters and everything like that so first of all we can customize things a bit so I'm going to drag this guy up a little so I have a little bit more space on the timeline then as you can see on the left we have all kinds of things we can add in text we can go ahead and add in filters overlays transitions and elements so right here this box is where you can you know put your files to import them so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna just add in a clip real quick okay so right now I am importing a clip of the Shure SM7B a microphone that I have unboxed earlier this week on Tuesday if you want to see that video link is in the description and while this is importing uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys that I'm not using the Shure SM7B yet because this video is recorded before I could actually set it all up so that's what we're gonna do right now so I'm gonna put on my headphones because there is audio obviously and as you can see on the left we have all our clips well one clip and what we can do it is pretty similar to Vegas we can just drag this guy onto our timeline and this is just me getting ready and putting the camera down etc Okay, so as you can see, this is a clip of me just opening up the box of the of the microphone and everything. So what we're gonna do is first of all, to spice things up, is we can go ahead and add in a filter. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to filters. And as you can see right now, we have all kinds of cool filters we can drag on there. All right, so let's look for a nice filter. I think this vignette one looks very nice. We're gonna drag that onto the timeline as you can see right there. Okay, so what you can also do is we can go ahead and add on some overlay. So if I drag this guy on there, this is basically a nice overlay. We have many ones, different ones to choose from, and I'm just gonna let you guys check it all out. We have many overlays that we can use, and in order to cut things up, for example, if you want to go ahead and cut something, we can just go ahead and put our marker here, then you want to press on this little split icon, do it like that, and then you want to bring your marker to there, click split again, and then, as you can see, we can just delete that, or we can also do that uh, on the clip itself. For example, like that, split. We can just go ahead and move up our marker and then click split again. And then we can just delete that one and then it will automatically put that one against each other. So this is what it looks like. Let's do this. All right. You can see I'm cutting it open. Boom. The box is now open. That is what the jump cut looks like. So that's how you basically edit and cut videos, etc. You can also make the timeline bigger, as you can see like that, but just holding your uh, mouse right there and then you can just go ahead and do it like that. Now you can zoom in very, very handy. Okay, so then if you go ahead and go to transitions, you can also make a transition between these clips. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So we can just go ahead and make a transition. For example, drag that on there, as you can see like that. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like. It goes down and then boom, it cuts to the next clip. So that looks very, very cool. And we can also add in text, for example. Uh, so let's see which one should we pick. For example, like a text, uh, like a balloon. So we can just drag it on there. And then we can actually, for example, like pretend that I'm thinking to myself like, oh, I'm so excited for that. So what, what I can do is I can just really simple do it like that and then just drag it over under the video. So then you want to go right click and you want to hit edit and then you can type in the text. So I'm going to, for example, like type in here, exciting, as you can see like that. And, we, and then we can just move this guy and we can resize it, uh, for example, like this. And then we can just also put uh, pick the text one 
and then you want to hold left shift to hold its as you can see like that aspect ratio and then as you can see make it smaller put that one into the speech bubble and that is basically how you can add in awesome awesome overlays like that for example like this we also have elements so you can just basically you know drag anything in, into your timeline that you think fit your video for example like these ones uh, like for example a Christmas hat they have so many other things so guys I just talked a little bit about how to cut videos how to add in text how to add in transitions overlays um, filters anything like that so if you want to go ahead and pick up this software make sure to check out the description I want to thank the makers of a power soft video editor for giving me the opportunity to take a review on their software so guys that's it thank you so much for the continuous support and I will catch you guys obviously on a brand new video on Monday so I'll see you guys next week.